Rouge Perth with Michael Thompson. Good evening. A Perth cafe has been charged and a family left traumatised after claims they ate brownies laced with cannabis. The unsuspecting mother and her two children bought the dessert from a cafe in Woodlands. Jerry DeMassey is there tonight. And Jerry, what are the cafe's owners now saying? Well, Michael, quite simply, they say they are in total shock over these allegations. It's still not clear how these allegedly contaminated brownies made their way into the shop front here at Butterbean Cafe, but there is no suggestion that this was done deliberately. Still, this family claims their children consumed drugged brownies and that the experience was terrifying. It was an after-breakfast treat that quickly became a frightening medical emergency. She said, Dad, my eyes are going, um, and she really didn't understand it. A Perth family unknowingly feeding their young children cannabis in a cafe-bought brownie. Mum and Dad say five-year-old Emily was the worst affected. She said, everything's jumping. She said, I, um, my, the, the walls are different colours. It's pink, it's blue. Fearing the worst, the family rushed to Perth Children's Hospital. It was very frightening. I was trying to calm Emily. She would calm down and then she would just open her eyes and give out this blood-curdling scream. Her mother Sharon and three-year-old brother Thomas ate the brownie too. The family claim urine tests on all three of them confirmed traces of cannabis. The city of Stirling tested a brownie from the same batch and says it confirmed the presence of THC, the chemical found in cannabis. The owner of Butterbean Cafe in Woodlands, chef Nathan Sharp, has been charged with two counts of selling unsuitable food under WA's Food Act. But a WA police investigation has cleared the cafe of any criminal offence. Butterbean Cafe has released a statement saying it came as a total shock to us that a Perth family is alleging they became ill after eating at our cafe. Today, loyal customers were rallying behind the family-run business. There's no way they could do any damage to their own business. They really care about the food and it, and it tells. Four months on, the family says their children are still traumatised. We go to other cafes or different places, even cook at home, and they ask, does this have marijuana in it? Jerry DeMassey, Nine News.